I got the vaccine, obviously, because I'm a frontline worker and we work with a lot of vulnerable adults, so to protect them and to protect myself. I think it's very important to keep not only myself safe, but people around me safe. If there aren't enough people getting vaccinated, there's a danger that we're just going to be stuck in this circle of lockdown and release of lockdown for who knows how many years. People are dying because of this virus, so I thought, let me just go for it, just to protect myself and the people I'm supporting. I think it's really important that I keep myself safe and my family safe and, and the people we support and the staff team safe across HFT. It was really, really organised. The people were really friendly. They made you feel at ease. Once you fill your details out, someone's going to come over. They'll just reassure you, make sure everything's OK. It's like a doctor or a nurse that works within that profession. Um, yes, it was clean. Everything was laid out, everyone was wearing protection, so it was fine, yeah. Nursing practitioners really recognise that people are quite concerned about it and may well be anxious about the vaccination process. I'm not good with needles myself, but I just looked away a bit and it was over within five seconds. The only after effects really the following day was that my arm was hurting a little bit. It was like flu-like symptoms that I had, so took the paracetamol, took lots of drinking water, felt fine the following morning. I was absolutely fine, so no side effects at all, and feeling good. It made me feel better in myself, because like I know now that I've taken another step to protect the people we're working with. It's almost like mentally you think, yeah, I'm all right now, I'm going to be safer. I'm more confident and uh, more positive about life. It's just taken that worry off of my shoulders, really. I'm so pleased I've had it done, really am. Hi, my name's Ian. I'm just about to go and get the uh, vaccine for the coronavirus because I know that there's many people who um, are very vulnerable to it. So Stuart, you've had your vaccine, haven't you? Yes. How was it? It's okay, and it doesn't hurt. And it rubbed that stuff in, and you, and you sit on the chair 15 minutes. Personally, I think that um, the staff should have it because then it protects themselves from the virus. Also, it protects us, help us be protected. It helps the GPs, uh, the nurses, the sultans. It was really good that I have done it. I think it will improve my confidence and also it will improve my safety around others. Well, when you've done it, then you'll go back straight home again. You'll be proud. Everything they've gone through from the start of the pandemic, they should have the vaccine to protect themselves, their families, and then the people that we support and the wider like picture. Yeah, they put themselves into an incredibly vulnerable position um, and they're supporting people that are also incredibly vulnerable. So it's, it's really important, I think, for, for the staff themselves that, that they're safe and they can keep their families safe. Oh, because we've got to protect the people that we're supporting. That's in the forefront. I had COVID really badly in the spring last year. I was in a coma for eight days back in April. So I know firsthand exactly how serious this disease is. But the people that we support really depend on us as their support workers to be as healthy as possible, to be able to deliver the service for them and also to keep the service going. I'm going to hug and kiss my grandchildren. Perhaps a little party, <laughs> we'll have to see. Oh, I want to get back to the football again. Going back to the gym. I miss the gym. <laughs> I love what you want to do him dancing and get the party started. <laughs> Just going to run around the street, hugging people, probably get arrested. <laughs> At such a difficult time, it's wonderful to know that the vaccine is available to help us keep ourselves, our families and the people we support as safe as possible. I recognise that there is a lot of confusing information around the vaccine at the moment in the public domain and I'm very pleased to see that we've been able to help our staff 
make informed choices based on the information we are able to provide them with. Thank you again for everything that everybody is doing throughout this pandemic. Thank you.